Iowa. I am from South Dakota. I am from Pennsylvania. From Melbourne, Australia. From upstate New York. From Scotland. I'm from Louisiana. From Dublin Island. From LA. From England. From Lexington, Kentucky. I'm from Michigan. From Iowa. From the Midwest. I'm from Washington, PA. From St. Paul, Minnesota. From New Zealand. From Oregon. From Colorado. From Tennessee. From Arizona. From California. From Quebec, Canada. Iowa. Idaho. New Orleans. Texas. Puerto Rico. This is Vexalia. We are from Georgia. And this video is for the cast and crew of Critical Role. This is for Matt Mercer, Mercury, Laura Bailey, Liam O'Brien, Talizan Jaffe, Travis Willingham, Sam Regal, Ashley Johnson, Brian W. Foster, Danny Carr, and especially the crew who keeps this running. Your job is damn near impossible, so yeah. This is what Critical Role means to us. I found Critical Role many years ago through a one-shot with Vin Diesel of all things. The way you play and the way you make the characters come alive, it's so good. Just the highlight of my week, just the pure chaos and happiness and joy that comes from every stream. Wondering how this week's cliffhanger will be resolved or wondering how Sprinkle is surviving any of this. Critical Role gave me back d and I'd stopped playing in university because I was in a group with some really toxic people and it ruined the game for me. And getting into Crit Roll got me back into D&D when I thought I'd never go back. This community has given me love and family in a way that I really needed and that I didn't have. I'm a college freshman. It can be easy to think that now I have to be an adult, now I have to know what I'm doing. It can be overwhelming to have to act like an adult all day long. Your show has shown me that Growing up doesn't mean that I have to lose the humor and joy in my life. And day after day, they show me that growing up can be amazing fun and that no one knows what they're doing. Critical Role has helped me fall back in love with my creative and slightly <laughs> nerdy side again. Since starting this show, my creativity is back. Hopefully I will have enough time to complete this keyless embroidery that I've been working on for weeks. I got back into drawing because of Critical Role. I drew my very first D&D character's portrait because I was just feeling so creative. Critical Role has gave me the inspiration to create this quilt behind me. It's one of the things I'm most proud of and it wouldn't have happened without Critical Role. I created a wax sculpture of Molly Mock's face for my restorative art class for my funeral <laughs> school. It is, Molly Mock's face is now in the Hall of Fame at my school. I have a massive dice hoard now. Thank you, Laura, for that, by the way. I am now a dice goblin and I cannot stop myself. These two cosplays got us through quarantine, <laughs> quite literally. My highlight of 2020 was getting to go to C2E2, getting to see the live show, and there I got to meet Talison and Laura. Now I'm doing something I love pretty much every single day. I get to play in D&D campaigns, I get to DM, I get to cosplay as characters. People are commissioning me to make in-character videos. I'm running escape rooms, I'm working with children telling stories, and all of this can be traced right back to when I first started watching over three years ago. Crip Roll actually helped me propose to my wife. Um, it actually gave me a spark of inf inspiration while sitting watching an episode one night and I ended up just coming up with a little idea to propose to my now wife, and she loved it, so there's that. <laughs> they have shown that creativity can be your job, and playing games with your friends can be your job, and even if it's not your job, playing games and creating stories with your friends is a worthwhile endeavor. Jester taught me to be unafraid, to be true to myself, and the things that I love. Kayla Vinyasha taught me that I'm not unlovable for what I've done or am, and that I am deserving of love. Bo taught me to not be afraid to stand up for myself and the ones that I love. Critical Role has shown me that I can be unashamedly me. Seeing the representation of LGBTQIA plus people and relationships literally made me cry with joy. There is so many good parts where you just can't help but laugh. And there are some parts where if you need it, you can cry at it. And I know with certainty that I am not the only person your light in this world has helped guide them through a dark time. 
so much healing through their journey and self-acceptance through watching them triumph over their struggles and seeing those same struggles in myself I was able to use that to help me get through my own stuff. Scanlan uh, came to mean a lot to me as somebody who also loves and supports his friend so much and sometimes at the detriment of his own mental health. Seeing myself in him allowed me to stay clean for a little over a year now. I found Critical Role and it helped so much more than I ever thought it would. I was able to forget how afraid I was and how sad I was and how much life hurt for those four hours when I watched. This show has taught me that no matter what struggle, no matter how many times I get burned, I come out the other side stronger. I have passed through fire many times, but I'm still here knowing I can take on anything that's thrown at me. No matter the anxieties or people that want to tear me down. You guys gave me a reason to feel again. <laughs> that we are never stagnant in our suffering. Like waves, we crash and we move and we break, but if we have enough strength to lift each other up and stand against the storm, we can get through anything. I don't think I could ever say enough how thankful I am that I found it and that it exists. And it's just been this one long story of yes and, and I can't get enough of it. It's just so amazing. Critical Role feels real because of the passion and the dedication of the cast. And I think that is what's most special about it. And all of the work and love that you, and especially Matt, you put into everything that you do. And it just amazes me every day when I go on to watch. The way that you shared Alexandria with all of us, even though it scared you to begin with, is endlessly inspiring. And I hope that your creative flame isn't snuffed just because of some very loud minority in our community. Every week without fail, Matt, you always thank us at the end of the video. And we just want to thank you. I can never thank you enough for allowing us to share in all of the stories that you tell and to see just how amazing D&D can be when we all play together. You guys mean so much, so much more to so many people than just being another show. Thank you for the hard work and love that you have poured into this community. From all of us to you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Merci. Thank you. 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 You are loved. 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 And is it Thursday yet?